If you do any type of research or if you're downloading documents off the internet, then you know that the most common file format you're going to encounter is the good old PDF file format. It's everywhere, it's ubiquitous, it's available across multiple platforms, and we can read it using a whole variety of tools. But the challenge you might have is if you have a Kindle device, or if you like to use the Kindle app on your iPhone and iPad, or if you like to use the Kindle application that you can download for the PC or for the Mac, and you want to be able to have not just those PDFs that you've downloaded, but you also want to be able to have all of the electronic books that you've purchased in one location. Well, what you can do is you can take those PDF documents and you can actually put them into your Kindle library. And then they're going to appear across all of your Kindle connected devices and you're going to be able to read and research all in one location. Let's go have a look at how to do that. So the way that we get a PDF to our Kindle is we email it to the Kindle. So what we're going to do is we'll create a new email and we're going to take an address that's provided to us by our Kindle. Now I'll show you how to get those addresses both in the Kindle app and off a Kindle device in just a moment. So I'm going to put in my Kindle address. And then you can put whatever subject you want in here. It doesn't really matter too much, but I'll just call it uh, PDF to myself. Um, and I'll just say that it's uh, neuroscience and the ADU. It doesn't really matter. It's just for myself. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a file. So I'm going to go in and I'll browse this PC and I'll grab the PDF that I'm interested in. So in my case, I put it into a folder called research. And what I'm going to do is grab the Kindle set, uh, documents that I want there. Now I've chosen two here, so I'm going to insert both those documents. So let's say, I've, well, in this case, I have downloaded them from some academic journals on neuroscience and learning, and now I'm going to send them, but I'm not done yet. What's going to happen is it will send it to that Kindle address, and then I'll receive an email back from Amazon, from Kindle that will say, Hey, you just sent some Kindle documents or some PDFs, do you actually want these on your Kindle? And then we have to say, yes, I will accept that. So if I go in here, you'll see that I have this Kindle support email. So underneath this Kindle support email that I have, you'll notice that it says we've received a couple of documents here. Do you actually want to, uh, to allow those to be there? And I can go here and I'll just take off the, I'll download the pictures. And you can see I have the request here and I can verify that that is what I want. And now I will have a verified and those documents will be on my Kindle. But you might be asking, how do I get that email so that I can send those PDF documents to my Kindle? Well, no worries. Let me show you how you can do that using the Kindle app. And let me show you how you can do that using the Kindle itself. From the Kindle app, you're going to click on more. Then you're going to click on settings. And then you'll get a special email address that we're going to be able to use to send an email. If you have a Kindle device and you want to send PDFs directly to that device, you click the arrow at the top. That'll bring up the menu where you can adjust brightness and warmth and such. But if you go to the all settings button, that's going to allow you to go in and take a look at your account underneath your account. When you click on that, it'll give you an email address and you can use this email address to send PDFs to this device. Now that you have your PDFs in your Kindle library, you can read them on your Kindle and across all your devices, but still maintain one consolidated e-reading environment. I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, hit like and subscribe, share with friends, and check out some of the other videos on the channel about how we can use technology to learn and teach better. Thank you so much for watching.